The early mariners called this useless bay because of its shallow depth. But this bay of Tierra del Fuego is very useful for this colony of king penguins. Located on the southeastern side of Useless Bay, this is the most northern colony of the king penguin, which is the second largest penguin. A small river connects to the bay for easy access for fishing. Near the penguin colony is a colony of Magellanic Tucutucus, a burrowing rodent of southern South America. Tucutucus are the only living members of the family Centomyidae, which includes about 60 species and makes them the most taxonomically complex and some say taxonomically chaotic of all the mammals. Long-tailed meadowlarks provide something more melodic than the sound of the raging wind. They may look a little awkward on the land, but the king penguin can dive to a depth of 100 to 300 meters and spend five minutes submerged. These penguins have an unusually long breeding season. It takes 14 to 16 months or so to go from egg to fledgling. They feed mostly on fish, but also on krill and squid, obviously eating quite a bit. It's no surprise that they're the ecological equivalent of the pocket gopher. Successful breeding is every two years on the average, not so good. Both parents incubate the single egg, which is balanced between their feet. Chicks form a group which is watched over by a few adult birds while their parents go off to fish. Their name, Tuco Tuco, comes from the sound they make when digging their burrows. Penguin yoga helps them prepare to outswim orcas. Point up, up, tail wiggle, wing flap, bend those knees. Tail wiggle, wing flap, now stretch. Sadly, it's predicted that most penguins will die off dramatically in the next 80 years as currents move due to climate change.